Hey Taurus, welcome to our love nest if you guys are new. Welcome back if you're returning. Today we're going to be capturing highlights of 2024 for all Taurians that are meant to receive this prediction. So this prediction may not completely resonate with all Taurians. Um, however, this message or this prediction is truly timeless for those that are meant to receive this in the future as well. So we are all on different timelines. So even if it doesn't resonate with you right now, there's high possibility that if you, whenever you are meant to receive it, this prediction may resonate with you later on down the line. Okay, so for those of you that aren't aware, my website, emails, personal readings, social media platforms <laughs> will all be closed for maintenance all 2024. Okay, so however, those changes are happening on my end, I will continue channeling for this YouTube channel um, and interacting with all the YouTube members on the membership side. Um so you'll see me more frequently doing lives and different things like that on the membership side. So don't worry, I'm going to be keeping y'all up to date and current about everything that spirit wants me to channel, any telepathic messages, and of course, creative style readings, such as this prediction as well. Which brings me back to what's going to be happening in this reading like so how is this prediction going to go it's going to be a lot differently from all my other predictions um, normally i just stick to love career um, finances and anything spirit needs you to know like every tourist show on a friday today's highlight we're going to be capturing all the blessings the overall blessings that are meant to come towards you in the year 2024 we're going to be taking a sneak sneak peek Okay, I don't know why I wanted to say snake, but I meant sneak peek into three specific areas. If you've ever did the big three with me, normally I do th the big three predictions. We look at love, career, finance, and major life events that are predicted to play out or forecasted for, for however many months. But since the personal readings are closed, I'm going to bring that over into this particular um prediction on youtube so that's going to be fun we're going to take a look into all three areas love career major life events that you need to be aware of and what else are we doing spirit yes we're going to take a look as well into the version that you'll be the version of yourself that you're going to be giving birth to by the end of 2024 so this is encompasses all of your self-development this encompasses the changes that you're going to be experiencing throughout the year in conjunction with your personal development and how you interact with your environment um, both on a spiritual and physical level we're bridging the gap between the spiritual 5d and the 3d so we're going to be focusing more on realistic um manifestation versus just imagination um so that's just to give you a little snippet of how the style of that reading will go at the very end we're going to take a look at your blind spots that you need to be aware of and the most effective cheat sheet <laughs> that you'll be able to utilize all 2024 and this goes for an application or a process or a method or formula that you'll be able to utilize all year long no matter what area it deals with okay love career finance prosperity you name it okay so y'all know me right i'm gonna always I'm going to get it as specific and accurate as possible. So I'm only going to, I'm only going to intentionally interpret messages that I can vividly see. So if it's not quite clear, I'm going to take that as it's not quite ready to be manifested. Okay. So I just wanted to give you guys an overview of what's going to happen in this reading. So you know what to expect um, as time is valuable, right? All right, so let's get right into this reading, Taurus. At this present moment, as this reading is being done, it's January 1st, 2024, okay? Between now 
And next year, January 1st, 2025, you are going to be a Taurus that will feel like everything is going really fast. The days are going by faster. Um, Changes are happening a lot faster. Things are coming in and going extremely fast. Lessons are coming in and going extremely fast. But more importantly, you're going to feel full. Like your heart is going to feel full of direct communication, honesty. You're going to feel like you can say what's on your mind. Uh, You may come off abrasive to other people. You may feel like... There's caution, 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 warning, warning, warning. Don't do that. It's risky. But I feel like you're going to pursue and charge ahead. So right now, there's this this thrust of forward movement. I'm seeing a slingshot. So you're being propelled forward. So something is going fast forward. If you're used to constantly reminiscing and rewinding um, events of the past and trying to figure out where you've went wrong, um then this may not be the prediction for you yet. If you're in this season or of perspective where you're no longer looking back, trying to figure out how you made a mistake, how you can prevent it and what you need to do to never make sure something happens again. um, Then this reading is going to be for you. The reason why I'm saying that is because I'm seeing someone that has tunnel vision. I'm seeing a Taurus that sees a, a mark Okay, you see a a peephole, you're looking through like a a looking glass, a peephole, and you see a direct um, target and you're trying to stay in alignment with that, which is why I feel like that vortex energy. So you're in transit, you're going to feel like you're in constant movement, you're going to have to go with the flow. Some of you guys, I am picking up travelers, I'm seeing you in motion, in action, you are the epitome of a of a verb right everything is in play in action in movement and you're not you're not you got your your foot on the gas and you ain't really pressing the brakes if anything you take your foot off the gas and you still let the car coast and be in neutral so that's kind of how I'm seeing it I'm also seeing travel plans road tripping I'm seeing palm trees um something about a storm a quiet storm like there may be a be a storm as well that may happen in 2024 and I see you like going the opposite direction of the storm so everyone may be running away from these opportunities but you're running towards them um mm -hmm. you are in this energy of I know what I want and I get what I want come hell or come high water you're going to make it to this promised land you're going to see it into fruition you're not really in this settlement type of energy um like you're not really trying to rest right now i heard it's go season so let's get the um so if you already resonate with that and you kind of feel this ammunition, like I'm ready to hit the gym, I'm ready to work on my body, I'm ready to work on my goals, I'm ready to go after my dreams, I hear this call, I'm, I'm stepping onto the platform, even if I'm scared, I'm doing it anyway, then yeah. This is your season where you're listening to the, the voice of the Holy Spirit within and you're being a leader and not a follower. Mm-hmm. But look at that transformation. So I don't really want you focusing too much on the cards. Okay. I don't know. I've heard that from spirit. So take it how it resonate. <laughs> All right, spirit for Taurus. What's the overall blessings that are coming in for Taurus? We're going to pull three cards, Taurus. Okay. I keep hearing three, three, three. So you're going to hear, see a lot of synchronicities of three, three, three. And we're going to do all upright spirit, right? Blessings coming in for Taurus. This year, 2024. Or whenever they're guided to resonate with this reading.
your spidey senses are going to be going off. I'm seeing your nose twinkle a lot. And when your nose twinkles, um, that's going to be a confirmation from spirit about something. I don't know what it's about. I'm seeing WandaVision. I'm seeing, no, excuse me. I'm seeing, I heard WandaVision. That may be something significant. I don't know. You may watch that TV show. So you're going to be moving fast, but the blessings are going to be coming in staggered or slower than you. We have mountain here. Something about this season, we have 22. This particular blessing is about you developing the characteristics or the stamina. If you think about the journey to the top of a mountain, no matter the obstacle, it's about the person you was crafted into to make it to the top. It takes a lot of stamina to climb a mountain or to walk up the, up, up the hill. You have to coach yourself. You have to talk to yourself. You have to give yourself pep talks along the way. So whatever this mountain is that you're you're achieving, you're going to know that you earned it and you're going to know that you deserve it. And one of the major things that you're meant to gain from this blessing is the realization that no other moment was meant to receive this blessing until you got to this point. There's something about an alignment here where you're going to know without a shadow of a doubt that had you received this blessing any sooner or before time, you would have fumbled the ball. You would have struggled to maintain it. You would have failed to, you would have failed to, to see it through all the way. You would have disappointed yourself. So you're meant to stand on the, t on the peak or the top of this mountain and look back at your life at some type of completion. And you're going to feel like the sun shining down on you. You're going to feel like this ray of light, this inner knowing. It's like a breath of fresh air where you get to finally excel. And your body is at a, a moment of rest. So I am seeing the 22nd of every month is going to feel like a recap. Okay. I don't care what month it's in all year long around the 22nd of every month. You're going to see like a, like a play by play book or wrap up session of who you've become. I'm also seeing you, I, I had a vision of someone having a brick of ice and melting it so they can drink the water. For some of you, this is like your heart or symbolic for your heart being thought out and then you being able to experience your own love. This is like drinking from your own cup of self-love. So there seems to be like a 22-day challenge you may sign up for. Um, a habit you may try to go the distance. A marathon you may try to race. A new skill you may try to teach yourself. A new talent you may try to, you know, perfect or craft. I'm seeing all of those things come into fruition for you this year. It's going to give a, a a sense of peace and calm. This. It's not about the destination. It's about. The rise or the or the journey towards the destination. Because, you know, like a mountain is hilly, so it goes ups and downs, ebbs and flows. So it's like the rise and fall of your journey. There's something. Hold on. I'm seeing something. Hmm. I'm seeing someone get upset at like a pitfall. So you will fall several times on this journey. 
eventually you get comfortable with the start stop start stop like I think you just like to go and you don't like any interruptions because that that uncomfortable period that it takes to discipline yourself, you don't like that. I'm talking to a tourist that doesn't really like the conditioning seasons in between go season. You know, you don't really care for it. You do it because you have to, but your relationship with it is like love, hate, you know, it's not really something you look forward to by the end of 2024. That's going to be the period of time where you prefer. That's going to be the conditions that you actually miss. (laughs) That's how I see here. And at the bottom of the deck, we have the lovers. Okay. So this card says, know that you are protected as you face challenges and remain cautious. Um, Conscientious, I think. Conscientious. I think so. Don't quote me on this, y'all. This is also the year where you you heal from an ex-lover. You completely heal from that person. Where now you can tolerate seeing them, thinking about them, and you don't feel upset. You cry about it. I'm seeing a lot of crying, a lot of purging this year, a lot of releasing. Um... It comes from you kind of getting something off your chest, finally saying what you want to say. You may actually travel to somebody may travel to the top of a mountain just to scream. There are two paths ahead. Be true to yourself. So for some of you, this does have something to do with um, some type of ritual that you create for yourself. As a self-discipline or a sacrifice or a sacrament to purge a person out of your life, detox a person out of your life so you can create a new path for yourself that doesn't keep manifesting the same old type of love songs or the same old type of relationships and things like that. I feel like you're preparing yourself for marriage. I'm seeing in 2024, a lot of you will marry this year. I am seeing um, or be in a committed relationship. So so for some of you, it's marriage. For others of you, it's um, a long-term committed relationship that may not be like a physical paper, but you guys are pretty much spiritually married, okay? Overall blessings. You may experience a time of, that's interesting, we have the snow and then we have fire. Something about winter season is significant. I heard Gemini with the lovers here, Gemini. So now I'm seeing the show manifest. The character, I don't remember his name, but... He blamed himself for his sister dying on the ice or something like that. He blamed himself for not being able to save his sister. And so out of depression, he, on her birthday, he decided to go to the mountain and, um, hike this mountain and it was kind of like a punishment to himself and he was hiked this mountain and he pretty much froze in a cave but he kind of before he like froze or died in the cave he was sitting by a bonfire if I'm not mistaken and he was looking at a, a newspaper that he grabbed from the gas station on his way up the mountain And it was about, he saw the face of someone that he would potentially love later on in the future. But that period of time, he pretty much was dead, like essentially lost to like time. So there's something about being lost to time, coming out of that cave, coming out of that mountain and not knowing what time of year it is, feeling like. 
you're out of sorts. You haven't really been in the, in, um, the world has changed. So when he came out the mountain, the world had changed. And by the time he let go of the entire emotional experience, he was way more empathic. He was way more enlightened. He, he had like a, a spiritual encounter because he was brought back. So he was a time traveler. So I feel like on a symbolic level, someone goes on this journey to release patterns and to let go of unresolved emotions. This could be like an ayahuasca trip. I am seeing like a retreat. Someone goes on a retreat here in the month of 2024. And I said month of 2024, really? <laughs> in the year of 2024 there's some way somehow on this spiritual journey someone goes through a difficult they're wrapping up look at that 9 10 there's a love relationship that's been heating up it's been gaining momentum so for the first time someone's heart is going to open up to the idea of love says let go of emotional upheaval and embrace the renewal of the present yeah someone completes a transformation and that's going to be a blessing let's see Ooh, dang judgment so dragonfly patience for some of you, this is a new person and this is a past person. Hmm. Both, there's two past people coming back into your life. Okay, you'll have to put names to those past people. The best thing that I can tell you about those past people, one of them is very tricky and shape-shifty. The other person is cocky. Yeah, the other person is cocky and they have a superior complex. Both of these people are very instinctual animal creatures in na by nature, which is intriguing. But at the same time, it's a buggy bug world out there and someone could get hurt. The third person, however, is very patient. In connection with them, you feel as if you can make changes about your attitude and your perspective in life. And in connection with that person, you have a clear mind and you're not as foggy or feel as if you are unsure of yourself in connection with that person. So you have three major options when it comes to love. The decision will be yours here. The decision will be yours here. But I do see you being provoked and learning how to master like your temper while also keeping the same momentum in other areas of your life. This connection may also feel very. <sighs> how can I describe it? <laughs> it? It triggers you to dig deep. That's the best way that I could describe it. You have a love connection that triggers deep change inside of you. Um, it's a connection that's always, this fire is always burning. And it's never a dull moment with this person. It's never a dull time with this person. Um, it's, some, it's always growing. It's everlasting. But with anything growing and everlasting, you have to learn how to deal with the rise and fall of, of every minor experience along uh, along with every major experience so to prepare you for that your spiritual team is going to teach you through a plethora of relationships through dating they're going to teach you through um a gift that you possess you're going to find a love 
for something and it's going to be a grounding source for you. It's like a tether. That's what they're showing me. If you climb a mountain, you need to tie a rope around you, right? So you can tether yourself. So you go into another altitude. So something's going to be tied around you. And it feels like, think of that rope like a, a gift or a talent that you love. So if you're a writer, you love writing, you're going to tether yourself to interacting with that relationship with writing every day. So no matter what you go through on your journey, you have a, a grounding source. Okay. So if people come and go, you have a grounding source. This will allow you to process your emotions before you say something you regret. This will allow you to um, process another person's emotions before you lose patience for them and vice versa. So something's working in tandem. A lot of this is mastery type of energy. So I can already see how this energy will facilitate you in giving birth to the version of yourself you can't quite yet perceive. Like you can see it, right? But we have major numbers, 22, 18, 24, 10, and 14. Those could be significant dates for you. Mm-hmm. Your life 2024 is going to feel like an encrypted message. And I heard you've got mail. So you're only going to get it in riddles. So spirit and spirit guides are really working with you this year. And they're not going to just tell you things because you have the full at the bottom of the deck. Have the courage to embrace change. Take risks. Be adventurous. You're going on an adventure. Look at that marriage right behind that. I'm telling you telling you the hardest part for you this year overall year 2024 is going to be perception okay dealing with people with malicious intention that look at you with negative with negative glares or glimmers um dealing with hypocrisy of other people judging you for your life and your choices um while their shit stinks, you're going to be dealing with your own suspicions at times, possibly even the occasional like jealousy, right? Oh, it's going to be so fun. <laughs> but overall, you're going to learn how to be completely unconcerned with the feelings of others. And know how to get exactly what it is that you want, no matter who has a problem with it. I feel like you are utilizing all the tools and the resources, the clues, the cheat sheets, the um, remedies, the advice that spirit gives from you. And people are going to look at you like it's not fair. There's no reason. How should you know this? How do you know how to cut your time in half? How do you travel like that? You know, how do you move? How do you get over things so quickly? Why are you not stuck to a pattern? Why are you reconditioning yourself at every given moment? You burn things that are old and you start shit that are new. Your judgment is going to be perfected this year. But it stems from you learning how to get comfortable with being uncomfortable. And some of y'all may already be comfortable with that. But now another layer is being added on, and that's the layer of a partner. So if you've been single for a while and you have gotten a good hold or handle on doing this for yourself, well, it's time to 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 amplify the ammunition a little bit. We're spirit going to add a lover. Now let me see you do that same dance, not just with yourself that you have no one else to answer to, but with another soul. Show me what you're working with. Okay, <laughs> that's what I'm seeing here. So let's get into your big three. We're going to take a sneak peek. I kind of want to leave this here. So again, don't get too mindful with the cards. I'm going to be toggling between energies and see what else comes out. All right. So your big three, Taurus, let's talk about love, right? Because we got love forecasted over your 2024 very heavily. 
All right, Spirit. In regards to love, what sneak peek do you want Taurus to know? Okay, I heard mind your manners and your thoughts. Okay. You're really sensitive this year. This could be a spiritual flu. You know how I was telling you like a twinkle in your nose? You're going to notice around certain people you feel sicker and around other people you feel lighter. Um, you feel like you can conquer the world. So you are activating your spirit, your physical mediumship through connection and relationships, right? So what does that mean? Platonic, romantic, friends, family. You're going to notice that you get majority of your messages through body, whether that be sneezing around certain people, certain smells irritating you, your body responding through hives, um, irritations, you just feeling Iggy. I heard Iggy Azalea. I don't know. There's a beef with Iggy Azalea that may resonate with you. Um, as far as that story is concerned. I don't know where Iggy Azalea is from, but that may also be a confirmation from you based off of location or geography. You may also deal with a period of adjusting to a new climate or adjusting to a new scenery when it comes to love. That's what you need to know. So I heard bees. So if you're in a climate where uh, you're going to like a new state, or something like that. I heard drink the native honey or something like that from the bees to kind of help with the change in climate. Okay. Huh. Your cutoff game is going to get stronger in the month of I heard January a person in particular may struggle with rejection you may be dealing with people struggling with you rejecting them because you feel off by them like normally you're the yes guy or the yes girl but this year you are Nah, that's bad for me. Cutting that out. Um, you're really focused on innovative ideas. You're really focused on kind of separating yourself from anything or anyone that makes you feel toxic. Okay. Especially those connections that trigger your, like your snapping yeah, I heard it. I saw a snapping turtle. So for like people that be trying to trigger you and get you all riled up or say things about you to kind of prove that you're not over them or prove that they still have a hold on you. I see you kind of being learning how to be in control of who stokes your fire and who gets you going. Um, as far as like who you're going to give your attention to, who you're going to respond to, like you're really creating less access to you in 2024. Because I'm seeing lovers here is not just romantic. This is like removing certain access from you. I heard access denied. So you can clear your mind and have clear vision. That's what this is really about. The people that are really for you will understand. And then the people that are not for you are going to... You're going to, they're going to be triggered by your rejection and they're going to project onto you. They're going to talk bad about you to other people. They may even try to dictate to you what you should do. I'm also seeing a dynamic here where someone else is trying to convince you that another person has a hold on you. So you may be in love with someone and you're happily in a relationship. Y'all are lovers. Things are going good. The fire's right everything is spicy you're gonna have people that you have rejected in the past 
trying to convince you. Project their thoughts into your mind. Trying to plant that seeds of doubt and suspicion. They're going to say, oh, you've changed ever since you were with that person. That person is mind controlling you. That person is seducing you. That person is controlling you and you don't even realize it this may come from people that you have grown up with close friends and families and professional people that you work with they may have a say about your romantic life there's something about your romantic life that's real sexy Mm -hmm. it's real spicy while you're at work all y'all do is think about each other y'all can't wait to get done with y'all work so y'all can go towards each other I'm seeing a lot of cabin fever. (laughs) That's what I'm seeing, for real. I'm seeing something very cozy in closed doors where nobody else can see. Yeah, very mysterious, divine, feminine, yen energy. Look at that. And someone is going to, multiple people are going to feel as if You don't even go out anymore. You don't really like your the the type of fun activities you want to do are like moments of solitude. So you may be booking hotels, booking like mountain retreats, cabin fires. You may be looking into specific getaways where there's less people around. All of these cards talk about less people around, less prying eyes. Um Yeah, especially if you're in a position of influence, you're going to be enjoying everything this love connection you guys have to offer to each other um, as two souls come together. And I see it being like slow, slowly indulged in and slowly experienced and this desire to come that burning desire to come towards each other you're gonna feel like oh I don't know if I should run to this but I feel like even when you guys are apart I'm seeing staggering days where it's like you know you maybe it's gonna be difficult to go like a whole a whole month or so without something without this interaction with this person because I'm seeing like okay Every four days, every two, <laughs> every four days, like after the fourth day, it's like, I miss you. I'm seeing that energy. Like I miss you. Ooh, mm-hmm. Ecstasy. I'm telling you. Oh, this is going to be so fucking amazing. You're going to tell, y'all going to want to, I feel like the both of you are going to want to tell tell yourselves to ignore this desire, this magnetic pull. We have chasing thrills, excitement, good times. This is that I don't want to get out of bed, close the curtains, (laughs) light a fire, turn off the power. (laughs) We are the power. (laughs) Just like, we are the power. I'm seeing multiple rounds, multiple sessions. Yeah. (sighs) Okay. Someone does have a slight jealousy streak here. Um, Like the idea of another person experiencing this may make the other person or the both of you a little like that's mine <laughs> that's mine <laughs> I'm hearing um I'm stingy with my love yes y'all are going to be stingy with your love like y'all don't want neither no one else to have this or experience this outside of the both of you it's like mm-hmm, y'all stingy with your love it's that type of possessive energy when you're apart, y'all may wear certain things that remind you of the other person so you can experience the ecstasy 
and relive it like you touch this necklace or you touch this bracelet you know what I'm saying and then you having flashbacks miles away <laughs> type of energy mm -hmm. like I can't wait to see you again it's gonna be hard to focus Mm -hmm. I'm seeing that it's going to be hard to focus getting dressed every day and putting on those the attire Ooh, somebody is going to literally let go of I see one of you letting go of your pride or your ego of being stubborn about how you engage with the person and I see another person letting go of like needing to know everything needing to know everything read into everything know you know and just be they're ignoring all of their inner knowing like they want to be surprised it's like surprise me wow me I see the both of you guys are going to go into the situation where y'all are like I'm taking off my hats I'm taking off my know-it-alls I'm taking off my whole this whole facade and the only thing that y'all can agree on in this situation is caught up in the rapture of you. Ecstasy. The sweetest taboo type of energy. <laughs> There's no way around this connection. There just isn't. And so it leaves you feeling at times. What has this person done to me? This person has really changed me from the inside out and when I say change me it's kind of like what's happening it's like for the better though for the better not for the worse like you guys both change each other you're willing to it's like you're willing to say yes these are two people willing to say yes to the fire that they feel inside this year and it feels really toasty like you know chestnuts didn't buy an open fire mm -hmm, mm -hmm. i'm seeing a lot of gemini season once the snow settles that may give you a little hint hint clue clue i'm seeing fire hey and you never know you never know because depending on where you are in the world Somewhere in the world, it's 11 o'clock. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Somewhere in the world. I feel like y'all are going to be eradicating time zone issues. Um, and it's like mysterious. Oh my God. And memories and reminiscence. This is like that energy of I want to run to you and not away from you. Huh. I feel like you're going to have a lot of eyes watching you guys because y'all are like missing. Yeah, you're going to have a lot of past life relationships watching you guys. Y'all are nowhere to be found. I'm telling you, there's something about distance. You're nowhere to be found. We could be anywhere in the world. How would they know? <laughs> hmm. For a period of time, what you need to know is someone tries to stop watching. Someone tries to stop looking into a situation. Some, some, someone tries to stay away. I don't know. There's a situation where someone may take something the wrong way um, or they may take something that somebody else says the wrong way. And they go off to try to heal until they have like an epiphany of some sort. This may be someone that is coming back from the past that you were separated from that had to deal with the influence of a third party energy that's coming back towards you, Taurus. I feel like both of you guys have released these people, but they're coming back around and it's because y'all, y'all firelight is on y'all, your sexual energy, your chemistry, your vibration is pulsating 
throughout the universe. <laughs> That's what I'm seeing here. And so people are holding on to you. You may have a lot of fire placements like in your Mars or your Venus. I'm also seeing rising signs in fire. A lot of air signs. Someone could be... With this pride and ego in reverse, that's giving me strong Leo and Aries combinations more than Sagittarius. But the signs don't matter unless you're, you know your love language is challenged like this. Like this feels like someone that's attracted to this type of mysticism. So you could have Scorpio, Mars, Venus, someone that's also attracted to the thrill of a chase, you know? But rather than chasing after someone, y'all chase the sheets, okay? <laughs> so it, it kind of like, you know, multiple orgasms, multiple experiences that last long is enduring because it's channeled in the proper areas versus it being channeled in toxic ways so you're able to go the distance together because it just works well together you know so there's no reason to to work against each other because y'all have a, a mutual strong spiritual connection you both chase good feeling good vibes you know what i'm saying and it's hard to find people that understand how to chase good feelings and good vibes and it has to just be in you otherwise you'll be forcing it and trying to pretend to be someone that you're not and it it won't last long and i feel like you finally find someone where y'all both have a natural high y'all both have a natural way of experiencing life and you place all of that passion and the the euphoric experience that comes along with it in areas where it's where it's free game like you when you're having sex that's that's you could do that when you're intimate you could do that when you're indulging in those activities there is no such thing as too much of a good thing <laughs> because i feel like for you guys it's not depleting it allows you to show up <laughs> So y'all may be each other's little drug out here, okay? Allows you both to show up. Yes, because all that energy is placed so where y'all able to show up for other people. And y'all, you know, your most invigorating placements are not displaced and just invested all in the wrong relationships and to the, in the wrong aspects of your, your, your chart. Okay, so some of y'all may really focus on getting down to the nitty gritty of your natal chart and asking yourself, you know, what challenges do you face? What motivates you? And then what pretty much how you can utilize those energies to work in conjunction with what's already destined for you. Okay. It's a, it's a marathon, not a race. So you're about to become a master at making love crafts. Yeah, so you're crafting using your own love, your own vibration, your own, you know, secret sauce. And you're going inward to practice how to craft this for yourself. And then you have someone else. I don't know, they may be, they may be willing to teach you a thing or two. Because someone is really good at doing this already. I feel like two people that have never met another person that's capable of crafting love like this meets each other face to face. That's what I'm seeing here. All right. Three cards, spirit. To this sneak peek for 2024 in love. Anything specific you need Taurus to know from the tarot. We have the three of cups. The six of pentacles. And the six of swords. 
Okay. I keep picking up this energy for you, Taurus, where someone is going to try to make you jealous. It's not this person that you are having the bomb.com <laughs> sexual experiences with or intimacy with. I feel like someone else is playing games on someone else's phone or they may be trying to post certain things. There's some gossip. There's some chatter. Um, the objective is to make you doubt yourself, Taurus. The objective that this third party energy is trying to make you walk away from this connection on your own. So rather than go back and forth with the person that you're with, Taurus, they may be trying to suggest certain things, hoping that you find it. They may be trying to provoke you indirectly because it doesn't feel like direct provocation. It feels like, um, you know, paying someone for services and then all along they they've masked themselves as someone that's like an ex or something like that. Um, or like going to your shows or showing up at your place, you know, like at, they're pretty much either trying to pretend to be a client, a customer, um, and they're just, oh, I'm just passing by just so happened I was in the same area type of things. I wanted to give you back your shirt or I wanted to give you back something. The objective is to create a scenario where the other person feels like you haven't closed the doors, you have unresolved issues, and so I'm going to leave you. So the objective of this person is trying to make you sabotage your own good thing, you know? Pretty much. Um, you have judgment twice. I feel like you're going to be able to see this person's motives. And um, whoever you are, Taurus, I am really shocked. I am really shocked to see this type of reaction. What I, how I see you reacting, huh? I see you play along. I see you play along. You take the message. You get whatever you get. You. It's almost like you. You. You play along in a way because you can see the truth for what it is. You can see right through somebody. And so you're not hurt by it. You can tell that that person is upset because they weren't chosen. It's like pick me energy. You can sense another person's disdain for what they feel like they've lost. And they may be trying to cast that emotion off on you. But it, it almost like boosts your ego a little bit, Taurus. I feel like on the inside, whether you play that facial expression out loud, I see you kind of like, yeah, bitch, that's mine. Or, you know, or you have like this this level of like it strokes your ego because it's like, again, I'm picking up on that possessive energy where it's like you think that person belongs to you. But this is where they want to be <laughs> type of energy. This, this is where they at. So take that how that resonates. But that's what I'm seeing here. <laughs> and I feel like whether they that person, it's almost like you're saying you could talk to them. They could talk to you. You're not bothered by another person's approach or tactic. You get off on it in a very... Damn, you different. You get off on it a little bit. Like, it's it's almost like it's a turn on. <laughs> this is why I said toxic traits. Toxic traits that have a healthy expression. So, I don't see you arguing with nobody. Five of swords is in reverse. I'm not going to play games with you. Nor am I going to feel hurt by anything that you say or do. If that person needed to give to you, I trust them over you any day. That's pretty much what you're saying to a person indirectly, though. Like, there's no direct communication. I see you just turn your back on the entire situation. But whatever confusion 
that was authored up or conjured up to be thrown your way. It's like, thank you for your, your invested energy. Mm -hmm. Now let me utilize that energy and show you how to make love with it. <laughs> I don't know how to explain with it. And when I say make love, you got to know what I mean when I say what I mean. Mm -hmm. It's a, it's like a dopamine hit. It's an ego boost. It's a Because now you're in the position where you can drain that. And the confusion that was sent for you becomes the confusion of those people that then offer themselves up to be your to be drained and utilized. Oh shit, you are a beast. To work in your favor, the will of fortune. And it's you give it no you give it no fucks, you give it no attention, you give it no life. And you have no regrets about it either. It's another day in the neighborhood. <laughs> Nothing can come between this connection y'all are all the way up y'all on a whole nother catasphere or assumption that they say like but and it's like no one can really see into you no one can really read into this energy they will blind themselves trying to that's how i feel that's what i'm seeing and that's your sneak peek into your love life let's hop over into your career career and finances for taurus all right, so you have protest in reverse. Oh, this is really uncomfortable, Taurus. I feel it. I feel it in my spirit. Um, I said what the fuck I said. There's no explanation. There's no justification. Um, I don't see you advocating or trying to save people. It's like everyone is responsible and accountable for themselves. I see you in your like in your soft era, male or female, it doesn't matter. Um I see you kind of leaving people to their vices um and just getting back to yourself, lighting what lights you up, doing what makes you you like you're going back to basics here. Um like, I don't see you overexerting yourself at all. The remaining of this year. Your family may not accept what you do for work. You understand? But I feel like you will receive a soul tribe that will really, like, they're from your same star system. They're really, they really fuck with you, Taurus. Um... They have the same passions as you. They have the same desires as you. Like they are on the same healing journey. And it may be completely and totally different from the industry you work in. The people that you once used to work with. It feels like you get an entirely new, you know, group of healers, herbalists, kinfolk, you know. And it would, and it's completely separate from who you expected it to be I feel like even down to your relationship of who you thought you close the bathroom door when you go in who you thought that you were going to be with long term is even different you know what I'm saying you may have envisioned that a particular person um was always going to be a part of your family they were always going to support you and even they start acting different you know and in your mind, a friend, you will never do that to your friend. So it feels like a friend or a work colleague may start to speculate on your judgment based off of a relationship that you have. Um, I feel like this person's a little, they have a family or they have a relationship. But they're going through some type of changes in their life. So they try to put a bug in your ear. But you see that they are not advocating for you based off of what you want. They're just, it's like they're pretending like they're leaving it up to you to make a decision on your career and your finances, but also suggesting that you may regret 
how it affects your family or your kids based off of this career that you choose or this relationship that you choose something about your you may lose followings friends support because of the type of where they come from their background it's given like either you are maybe you come from a line of you know notoriety and that person doesn't fit the image of the the person or the the type of relationship that the rest of the world thought that you would end up with there's something about someone's going to a group of people your co- close family or friends or co-workers or that work with you if you work from home and they're welcomed in your home they may wonder why you no longer like work out of your home and you work off site you know or why you don't really include like let certain people in in your close private circle like you used to and they start to speculate and they get to questions um they're questioning your decision making <laughs> and they're wondering if you have you lost your marbles <laughs> Because this is not like you. There's something that you're doing that is just not like you. And you're not caring about the the what other people have to say. I feel like you're also sharing gifts that you possess that you weren't sharing before. Either you're talking about it or you are sharing it in real time. Okay. And people are a little speculating, like speculating on whether or not you are getting into these things because of the new friends you have or the new relationships you have. Like there's something about origin, getting back to your roots. I don't know. Maybe you're walking outside more with no shoes on and someone's like, what's wrong with you? Maybe you taking winter baths outside or <laughs> in the ice water and people are like, what? Are you okay? Yeah, we have optimism. So that's what I'm picking up here. You're expanding. I feel like you may be definitely, especially with like the different sigils and looks like that. Ooh, you're not really going out as much as you used to. Something about partying or going out as much as you used to. You're not really in the social light or in the public eye. For others of you, you're doing the opposite where you are invited okay you're invited to share a gift or a talent that you have and with promise here this is someone that wants you to come and share a talent or a gift and they want you to know that you're no one's going to bully you no one's going to bother you um, if you showcase your talent or talk about where you come from, yeah, principle here. So this is telling me that with all the Sagittarius energy, there's possible room for travel, distance as well. Um, but this is giving me performer, being op um optimistic about where you're going with your gift, where you're going with your talent. And um, performing on different stages and committing and really just going back to your roots and what you're what you're good at. Like what you're really good at at your core is different. But it's like no longer having that record label down your back because you're your own. You're your own label or no longer having that. Um, that manager on you. Or shit, no longer having a nine to five and you're finally able to commit to something that you love. And it may be a little unorthodox. But you feel like you're going to go far. And the reason why I'm picking up on this energy is for some of you, this may be like you're a traveling artist, right? Maybe you do nails and hair or barber or you create certain things. Or you you perform at certain events, but you're doing what you love. 
and you're going to be carried far like you're you're meant to go far with this gift so why would anybody be against that you know what i'm saying that don't even make no sense i see you setting goals and when you do experience setbacks you just keep resetting you just keep resetting new goals because i feel like you've already dealt with the experience of like making plans and the universe laughs at you but this time you're meant to learn how to roll with the punches make those plans and even when you experience setbacks you go through the setback and you go back to the original plan origin and you just keep doing that and you stay committed to it and i promise you you're going to have your win have your victory this is about you staying focused along the way i'm telling you y'all could be speakers we have take center stage speak at events conferences and workshops share your message and transform lives through your work you be motivational speakers some of y'all oh wow i am seeing a public proposal for someone at an event wherever a fucking microphone is i'm seeing a public proposal someone's thinking about how they want to do it so what you need to know is at your work or whatever it is you do for your purpose or your gift that you do there's going to wow don't let the best kept secret in your neat don't be the best kept secret in your niche boost your visibility step out of the shadows and into the spotlight to attract your ideal clients i'm seeing overnight success for a lot of you you may be a mystery guest or a mystery performer or a guest speaker i'm also seeing an unexpected surprise like coming out in front of people at a social social gathering someone may oh wow someone may if it's not like a proposal for some of you this may just be someone saying you know i don't know where i would have been if i didn't meet this person and this is i support this person i respect them it feels like recognition yeah and you have go live how specific is this Build an authentic relationship with your audience by hosting live sessions around your topic on social media. This seems like it's going to be streamed worldwide, okay? Your emotions directly affect, used to directly affect the way in which you, you know, manifest money and opportunities into your life. But you're no, you're, you're no longer allowing your emotions to affect or your love life or your emotional status to affect your work ethic. And that is going to make you a very gifted businessman or woman. Um, and you know why? Mm -hmm. Because a lot of you guys. A lot of your success came from healing from a past relationship. And so now you don't have that problem. Like maybe what brought you onto spirituality or, or what brought the curiosity out of you was healing from a heartbreaking situation and trying to rise back up in your, um, your field or your craft, right? So your emotional state of being, you were spiritually set up for this. This has always been your seat. This has always been your position. This has always been your calling. This has always been your purpose. But spiritually, you were set up to release those emotions. Right. And it wasn't until you stopped caring about love and you stopped caring about the idea of doing it for the sake of a relationship or being with someone that's actually opening the door. Or you have something worth sharing now. It says, do not be intimidated to enter the world of business. You got this. Consider executive positions, becoming a CEO or anything in the corporate world. Elevate your awareness and think bigger if you want different results. Now, look where you're coming from. You're coming from emotions. Your emotions are affecting your finances. You're paying too much attention to your love life and ignoring your career. 
earn money doing something that you love or a dream job might be offered to you. That's in reverse. So instead of you, you know, focusing on the love, you started to set yourself up, love yourself. And you stop hiding behind the objective of acquiring a partner or a relationship or a lover or whatever. And in a lot of cases, you stop holding on to the emotional baggage and really selling yourself short in the shadows of other people. Because I heard, beat it, beat it. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah. And a lot of you guys, I feel like you've lost house. You've lost, like you've had to move. You had to relocate. You've been made uncomfortable. You've felt like you weren't as you know, in shape or beautiful, you had to relearn everything all over again. You had to teach yourself about marketing. You had these major goals with no way to actually facilitate them. You had to manifest, turn into Harry Potter on the ass. You had to stop analyzing and stop watching the climb. And you had to just sit and be still. You've gone through the, the struggles. Past 22 years of your life could have been very significant. The divine had to teach you how to be patient. And yes, you may love this gift that you have so much or you may you may know that you've been underrated and undervalued, but the divine had to take you in that grass to really help you make solid changes that will work for your greatest good. And that's the reason why now you've earned this. This entire year belongs to you. This entire year, it is the year of indulging in everything that you've worked hard for. And you are meant to go live more and talk about how the divine utilized you in whatever way. It's different for each person. You also have gift here. You know how people will get to the they'll get to the top of their success and they'll say, I did this and I did that. No. What about what the divine did for you? You know what I'm saying? What obstacles? They always leave out the spiritual element because it's not common and it's not favorable and it's not what people want to hear. But the truth of the matter is shadow work is real. Root work is real. The things that you you self and you self impose on yourself to get where you got to go. It's not just based off of you and you alone. There is a spirit. There's a fire that is ignited inside of you and it's through relationships and it's through karmic partners and it's through the trials and tribulations that we don't often like to remember or think about that help pave the way right and in so many ways if it wasn't for those ex relationships and those experiences whether good or bad or indifferent we wouldn't make it to this point on our journey so a lot of you that are in this thick of it right now you've gone from the hermit all right You've been thought out and now you're on this phase of like, the decision has already been made. The connection, the, something has already been solidified. All right. When you see the, when I see fire, this remind me of the burning bush. Like spirit has already spoken. The message has already been given to you. The confirmations inside of you is, is actually just activating from your DNA. Everything was a setup to bring you to this very moment. Look at this. This is the gift. And I feel like you're going to be sharing that. And you're going to be teaching other people how to get out of their own way. And so you're not going to be popular demand. But you're not hoarding information. And you're not you're not with restricted spirit from moving through you. And also, you know, using your allowing spirit to use you as the example or, or the leader of how you had to lose so you can gain again. Like you are you are going to be a guru of something. I don't know what you're going to be a guru. Whatever you say. If people was ever stubborn, hard-headed, and don't want to listen. There is something that spirit is doing to move in your lives. And it's happening all over the world. And it's going to be like a tidal wave. Spirit is moving in mysterious waves ways and it's in waves and it's in movements and I feel like the wave and the movement that's coming right now it's in those of you that are speakers those of you that are um 
managers, supervisors, like you are tra- singers, dance, like any expression in the realm of being self-made. I don't care what it is that you do. Self-made. This is self-made, self-taught. This is um You know, 2020, I would say this was a familiar energy and a lot of people were thrusted into it because the world was still. I'm hearing spirits say that was a major event, right? A major obstacle. But something was lit. Instead of doing it this time, spirit is utilizing divine unions to light that spark. That was wave one. Now, this is wave two. And by the time you get to three, it's going to be a whole nother paradigm. Like, y'all are the bridge between there is something that I just don't have. It's just something like right here where it's like, teach me how you did it. This is like the world's greatest love story, success story. This was, it was always there all along, right? Anything else you need? This is justice. Like, listen. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it to you, but you're going to feel it in your spirit. What you, I'm just seeing someone just. Oh my God, you ain't never gonna have to work another day in your life. Whatever you do, it's because you want to. Talking about autopilot. You understand? I'm talking about autopilot. A lot of people are going to try to break your concentration. And even though the cards don't look good from your end, see the mountain that it took to become this this boss you know what I'm saying the rejection that you had to do to become this version of yourself this is the rise and the fall of everything there is no reason why you should have had to constantly rebuild rebuild start over start over start over wow (laughs) and you and someone else are literally like the perfect example of like underdogs clarify this it's like refuge sanctuary freedom it's crazy All of this is pentacles and we're talking about money readings. Like I'm seeing, um, like being able to save here. Like you go from, you go from saving independent, like this is independent. Like you, you have the ability to like save money. You don't have to work so hard. You may spend a lot of time alone. You may not have a lot of friends either, but you prefer it that way because the two of pentacles is telling me like, you're not going to have to perform so hard, work so hard. Someone could be going into like, you know, retirement, like where you just have a savings. Um, You're growing old. Like, I feel like you're going to be growing old with someone like you're single, but you're not single. Like you have... You have way more, like, whatever you want to do. When you get bored and you get tired of working, you could just stop working, go travel, or go do something. I just see you being able to move whenever you feel like moving. You're not on a clock. You're not like, I got to get it. I got to get it. I got it. You're, it's like a soft area. You see that? Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Oh, damn. Um... And I feel 
Like you're going to try to hold on to this hustler type of energy, but you don't really have to. When you get kind of bored, I see you wanting to like switch into like this hustler energy, but, but it's like you can't really do that. So you're going to, you're going to really struggle with balancing something here. Like you may feel like, I don't know if I'm doing enough or I feel like I need to do more. And someone's constantly reassuring you. This could be your partner reassuring you that you don't have to work hard like that ever again. Um, you don't have to be waiting for the rug to be snatched from underneath you. Five of Pentacles. But I feel like it's going to be a hard mode to really switch off. So you may still like try to like, I got to work hard so I can save for a rainy day or I need to like pull my own weight. That's what I'm seeing here. Like you may have a partner, especially if you're a feminine Taurus, you may have a partner where you may feel like you need to pull your own weight and it may feel completely strange this year for you, especially this year. I feel like it gets better over the years, but for like the first year, you know, when you've been homeless before and you go from being homeless to having a home and being able to have things that aren't going to be taken from you and at the same time you don't have to clock in and report to anyone that is a difficult transition to experience you know because you train and condition your body to never really rest never really sleep you know what I'm saying and so that survival mode is pretty much being turned off and I see you in 2024 really trying to find the balance between accepting that you deserve this you know what I'm saying but I don't see you telling nobody that <laughs> ten of swords you ain't gonna be telling nobody that I feel like with the two of pentacles in reverse, you're going to wear it well. And as you process it, it's just the first year. You know what I'm saying? I feel like as you process it, you may be very frugal. You know what I'm saying? You may not try to go and spend a lot. You're just not accustomed to being adorned or appreciated in this way. So you may feel like, no, 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 I don't need anything or I don't want much like, you know. I don't need anything. Like, you may say, no, thank you a lot. No, thank you. No, I see someone saying, like, no, thank you. No, thank you. No, thank you. But you're saying yes to everything. But it's like, you're like, you're ba you're battling left and right brain between saying thank you and I can't accept this. Thank you. But she's like, you're, you're receiving it. But it almost feels wrong. Like, you go because of all of the betrayals. Listen, you've been uh, you've been in the five of pentacles energy. Where it's like you, there's a fear, an unspoken fear of getting too comfortable, but you're not shutting it out. Like you understand that that's something that you had to experience and it really, you know, fucked you up. You know what I'm saying? But at the most part, like not a pentacles, you, the divine is going to be talking to you. Like it's okay to allow someone to appreciate you. No, you don't have to pinch yourself is real. Like that's what I'm seeing here. So, yeah, mm-hmm, because someone's a giver, someone's uh, love language could be, like, giving, I feel like both, you're a giver, because the five of pentacles tells me that you're used to giving, you're used to providing, you're used to being the person that, um, you know, serves yourself last, you're used to being the person that goes without necessities to make sure that everyone else has that's just what I see here you're the last to eat you're the last to to make sure you have a winter coat you're the last to make sure for anything you've been a machine and so that's a original modality that you're accustomed to so to not have to be a machine and to not have to yeah. 
save four nuggets out of a fucking 10 piece. You know what I'm saying? Shit, you may not even eat nuggets no more. <laughs> That's what I'm seeing here. For real. But to go from having to ration everything in your life or you have free time to fucking do your hair, get dressed, the small things that you just don't realize that you weren't able to do. And then you're able to do it and you're able to feel safe and you're able to feel finally like someone can't take this from you, you know, because that's what I'm seeing here. Nine of Pentacles, you had to hold on for dear life and make it out the trenches, all of you. With constantly looking over your shoulder that if you took a break or if you took time that there was always something on your tail that could put you back where you started. You got it out the mud. <laughs> okay. Mm-hmm. Try and the two of cups. I can't. This is this is definitely it. I mean, I can, but I'm saying that this is just wowing me, okay? Because I'm seeing a story here. And it's going to be the story that you tell. How you manifested a divine counterpart. How you manifested your soulmate. Two of Cups, the Hierophant, and the Magician. Come on now. Like, people are going to sit and literally want to hear this story on replay. There is no way. There's just no way. They're going to want to see this for themselves. I got to see y'all in real life. This is cannot be real. And that's just is what it is. That's what I see. That's the effect that you're going you, that this connection is going to have as a collective around the fucking world. Mhm. Mm so let's get into your my battery is dying. I may have to come back later. <laughs> let's get into your um let's see your major events. Cause that last one was already major. Major events for Taurus twenty twenty three or four. Okay, so I heard three. So we're gonna start with three major events from twenty twenty three that you want Taurus to remember or to be aware of. Idealism, okay, in twenty twenty four excitement in reverse okay so in 2023 you were supposed to learn how to allow a person to court you properly <laughs> okay how to put the oxygen mask on yourself how to be selfish I feel like you were meant to learn how to um yeah have a level of confidence about yourself, about your manifestations, and um, more importantly, accepting that you deserve, accepting that you deserve it, and not caring what people say. So in 2024, you also were supposed to learn in 2023 not to tell people your business and to keep things to yourself. All right. Haters are going to hate. People are going to say what they need to say. As you closed out, it may have got very intense. Between like November 2023, all the way up to, I don't know, March 2024. Nobody needs to know your good news, your good favor, or what good things. It's like if God works in mysterious ways, God wants to continue working in mysterious ways, okay? And when you get the manifestation of something in any capacity, in any area of your life, allow the spirit to determine when it's meant for you to share. Um, I feel like you're going to be on different time 
on a different time. So it's like, I see you capturing memories, right? But by time you share it with the rest of the world, you're, it's like you're three months ahead of the gossip. You're three months ahead of the negative to naysayers. So they're like experiencing the, the topics that they're talking about are things that you did three months prior. So it's going to feel new for them, but it's old news to you. You get what I'm saying? So you're going to also, I don't know if you're going to be I don't know, reality TV or something, um, or there's something to do with um, like documentaries or something like that. There's something that's going to be crafted. It's a major event or you make it a major opportunity to like, um, cause I'm seeing someone like videography, watching you, things like that. Something about a narrative, uh, something that may be taboo, but something about hanging on every, every word that you say is significant. Um, 2024 is like, I'm hearing liberals. There's, there's two sides to everything. There's two sides to a coin. Um, especially to people as well. So I feel as if you're not going to really place so much attention or focus on people being happy for you and celebrating with you. I don't think you're going to have a lot of friends per se that really fuck with you. I feel like you're going to irritate a lot of people and they may trigger you. So, you know, commentary, the devil is busy, but, um, I feel like you're going to be coming out of your shell. I am seeing like, you know, when somebody showcases something, like somebody is showcasing something, um, but people are calling it calling it demonic or people are calling it negative connotations. And you may want to hold back in certain areas, but I feel like you're meant to not care and share your excitement and your love for your ideals, your beliefs, your spiritual practices, your spiritual belief systems. It gets better. But I feel as if um, some of you guys, you may not want, especially if like if you're, you may not want to show like your, yeah, it's like mother and father energy. I don't know. You may not want to show like a mother and a father or tell somebody specifically. There's going to be an event where you're kind of saying like, this is kind of what I'm deciding to do. So you may be telling your parents. And they, and you may be able to tell that they don't personally agree with your belief systems or your ideals, and they're not really in support of something that you desire. Um, but you don't care anymore because you're like an adult, an adult now. Yeah. You're like, you know, no love lost. I respected you guys, your journey and how you wanted to do it, but this is my life and I got to live it for me. I see you kind of like having like a, yeah, you're not losing any sleep over it anymore. You're not bothered by it anymore, nor are you denying yourself of an opportunity of a lifetime. And this may be just you, you know, clearing up a learning cycle in your life. Like you're coming out of your shell. You're coming out of the expectations of other people. You're actually, I'm seeing someone have like a, a child and, um, not really wanting to show like they want to keep it secret or private. And I feel like there's like a lot of people like watching or trying to provoke someone else here. Like someone wants to know who, who someone is like, are y'all together or not together? So like, this is a lot of people really trying to, trying to be into your personal life. That's what I'm seeing here. Your position though, like you guys are very good. Whoever you are, you, you have a partner here. Y'all are very good at compartmentalizing, separating personal life from work life, separating, you know, your parental life from your business life. And you really value the privacy of those relationships. And so you are in control or you're ahead of the narrative by sharing in 
micro doses or how you feel spiritually guided to share. So y'all are kind of like very private, very particular about who and how you interact with like online people who could come around you and stuff like that. Mm hmm. Especially the masculine energy, extremely protective over a feminine energy. Like, like their house is like their sanctuary. Someone like creates a sanctuary for someone. I'm telling you, the two of cups. I cannot make this shit up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's that's like the major events for sure. It's and it's going to be in the development because I feel like there's so many different highlights but this is like the most major one that really solidifies your growth yeah you y'all are like really in this emperor and empress energy to the point where y'all don't really care about the titles the most important one for you is your divine mission together as i'm seeing for better or for worse like the titles the roles none of that matters like you're spiritually guided, okay? And y'all gonna have a moment where y'all like, fuck, we work well together. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's what I'm seeing here. All right, my phone is about to die. So we're going to move into our last, but um, <sighs> our last segment, you guys. If you made it this far, you are awesome. For real, for real. So what are your blind spots? that you need to be aware of oh excuse me what is the major version of yourself that you're giving birth to one card spirit so this is like who you will pretty much be by the end of who you will become by the end of 2024 and it's interesting that this card is patience is 24 so this is the year of patience love and patience caution oh you're gonna have firm boundaries especially when dealing with people with cognitive dissonance dealing with people that don't know how to respect themselves everyone's gonna be flocking to you um but you're gonna have very firm boundaries in deciding who and who you don't want to mingle with and i feel like you're not going to really do a lot of talking but your actions are going to speak louder than your words you feel me because i feel like Whatever line you draw, people do play with you. And when I say play with you, I feel like they try to undermine you or they try to find a gray area, a loophole to change your mind or make certain strategic moves to get you to, you know, tell them more, do more. It's like pulling on your energy. And I feel like you're going to have a very strong boundary, but you're, you're not one to talk about. And give so many warnings anymore. So by the end of the year, you see something coming a mile away. And before they even, it's like minority report. Before they even get to actually manifest in the physical, you catch them in the spirit. And you handle that from there. <laughs> That's how I feel. Yeah, your psychic abilities are going to be so powerful. Like you don't give people an opportunity to worry so worry doesn't hurt yeah you don't give people an opportunity to to project and to cast and to do certain things or to be reckless in your life wow and i feel like whatever whatever is thrown your way or whatever is casted your way you turn it into a positive ener energy anyway. So any negative demons that are sent your way, any negative projections or thoughts that are sent your way, you turn that shit into, into peace, purpose, profit, <laughs> prosperity. Yeah. And I feel like you always have someone in your blind spot, which brings me to that next question, spirit blind spots what does Taurus need to know you have another person that's like a spiritual astral traveler this could be your divine counterpart that's always making you aware of who's psychically in your energy and it's like they they laid a mark 
and you go in and you just finish them. <laughs> I told you acquisition. Nobody is on your level. I'm on a new level. Yeah. All day, all night. Like y'all are some conquerors. There are people that wish they were on this level with you guys. Because not only do y'all have like a healthy love relationship. Y'all have like Taurus, Taurus. Y'all may be um, strong earth placements in your chart. Like y'all respect your roles. You see how these are different? Like y'all are different people in different rooms. Y'all, but y'all are like devoted, divinely guided. And then we have flirtation. So I feel like there's going to be people that try to play off your top. That try to make you jealous when y'all are not with each other and stuff like that. Um, both of y'all understand the importance of attraction. With flirtation here, expansion is about attraction. And I feel like the both of you guys are not jealous about the stuff like oh you were flirting with that person and talking with that person no I don't see that type of jealousy what I'm seeing here is you guys you guys are partners divine counterparts having a human experience facilitating a role that you will see to into fruition period nothing comes between that nothing comes between y'all and I feel like that's within your blind spot is the spiritual unity The other stuff is just comes with the territory. Like y'all in between two worlds. Devotion. Life and death. For better or for worse. There's nothing that can come in between that. Because like I said. You see here. Um, they're serenading this chemistry energy. This is also. Like notoriety. Respect nobility and people are going to be inquiring about this relationship so when people are acquisition when people are inquiring about your relationship or what the status of your relationship is we're devoted I mean it's given um like that Goldie Hawn energy okay the star I, I'm done I'm done Y'all are on y'all purpose, North Node energy, straight up, out the back, okay? Like, I don't think I need to go any further, but I did promise. <laughs> I did promise the last part. All right, so let's get the last part, which is, <sighs> what's the most effective cheat sheet that Taurus will be able to utilize come in 2024? in any area of their life that they will be able to utilize to their advantage in 2024. Publicity in reverse. Privacy. Privacy, privacy, privacy. High demand, you're in high demand. Um, you are highly attractive thirst there's gonna be people thirsting over you you and your person um they're gonna want to know this is something that will will go a lifetime it's like i want to know what goes on behind closed doors i want to know what you how you did this access all right and not giving access to people being less accessible is going to be your super power this 2024 element of surprise okay because that's what they want supply and demand so you're a supply but there's there's not a yeah there's not enough of you to supply everyone's demand and so you are about to be so so famous so like i feel like especially if you're like leo north node oh my god overnight success it's crazy 
you're not even gonna have to do anything for this you're not gonna have to kiss ass you're not gonna even like i don't even think you want it but it's almost like spiritually you had to be prepared for this next level or this next phase um so it wouldn't get to your head or something like that so your spirit guide was preparing you for this blessing blessings on blessings on blessings on <laughs> Yes, take an initiative. And it starts from you taking initiative. And anything you feel spiritually guided to do, even if it doesn't make sense or you don't know if you're good for it, if you're going to be able to manage, do it. Do what makes you feel good. I feel like you're going to be asked to. So pretty much you're going to want to tell everyone. You're going to want to share everything. You're going to want to. You're going to have this desire like, oh, my God, I'm so happy. I want to share this. But you are but you won't. You get what I'm saying? You won't. Because you know that the pub public eye is cruel. So you won't. And so rather than letting it defeat you and make you feel as if, damn, I can't have the best of both worlds, you utilize that drought, you utilize that deprivation, and you turn it into a positive and you make it work for yourself. Checkmate. You feel me? Checkmate all year long. Yeah, I'm sure you would like to know who I'm, who I'm engaging with. I'm sure you would like to know what I'm doing next. But I mean, you finna be out here like a spiritual ninja. Just whoosh, whoosh. everyone's going to be assuming that you're unhappy by the things that are being said about you. But it's like ammunition, cock and loaded. You finna be cocky. <laughs> Watch my, yeah, you finna be fly. Watch your cocky fresh. Yes. You are all 2024. You are. You are a hot topic. And it's going to be the gift that keeps on going because you leave so much speculation and so much questions and topics. It's like a plethora. And you're going to have people saying like, I feel like, oh, Taurus is doing this on purpose to just get us all talking about this and X, Y, Z. And you're just going to laugh. <laughs> like, I'm seeing dress, gesture, like the cat off Alice. The, I think it's Alice in Wonder, Wonderland. <laughs> yeah, because they have access denied. You're going to have control over access. And you're going to have the world's undivided attention. And they won't be able to unsee once they, it's like, they're going to be blinded by light here. Like two orbs. Like, I just don't know what it is. It's that magnetism, baby. So I feel like that's going to be your cheat sheet for the, for 2024 is, um, leave them unsatisfied. Whoever they are. Leave them complete. Like you wish you could see into this house. You wish you could live my life. You wish you could do that. You wish it's going to be your. Yeah. You're going to leave so many people in. Like. The dungeon. Okay. The tower that was built for you. They're under the tower. <laughs> they're under the tower. And it's. Oh wow. Taurus, that's all I have for you, love. I'm going to get you some closing spiritual advice in regards to. Whew, we got the wheel. Bottom of the deck. A fresh new start or the end of delays. Sort, sudden or unexpected progress. A positive change in your life. Travel or a new vehicle. Oh, yeah. So what's your closing advice for Taurus? If you could say anything to Taurus at all for the next, for this entire year, what would you say? Oh, we have chaos. Conflicts with others caused by opposing opinions. Walk away from drama unless the situation is really worth your time. 
then stand up for yourself. Very ambitious people. I'm telling you all 2024, you're very ambitious people this year. You're working your magic. You're taking the chaos that's being projected towards you and you're wielding it into purpose and to power. And you're going to take that and you're going to harvest it and harness it. Ding, that was a confirmation. I had picked my phone dying. You're going to take that, harness it, and harvest it into positive prosperity. And have no mercy whatsoever for anything all year. <laughs> That's what I see here. Look at that. Opportunity. A windfall of abundance, wise counsel, or good fortune, an exciting career opportunity, a lucrative contract, significant purchases like a home or a vehicle. Again, last card is what? Protect what you have created. Be prepared. Never give up. Ask your angels for help. Environmental activism and animal rights. And then... I can't help but to add that one because that was at the bottom of the real bottom. Um, I feel like you'd have been through the bottom and now you're here. This is your year. Unity with a spiritually minded community. Ask the divine for help and trust the answers will come. Compare traditional methods with new ideas to see which is best for you. And that's what you're going to be doing. Taurus, I love y'all. I hope all of this all of these predictions help you in whatever way it's meant to highlight for you over the year um, 2024. If you guys are a part of the Love Nest tier over here on YouTube and the Stay Nested membership, you guys will be seeing me a lot more often going live with you guys and really just opening up for more discussion. So be sure to turn your bell notifications on if you are a member. So this way, when I do randomly go live without any type of you know, warning, you have been notified. Okay. Also check out the member side of the community tab. Those of you that are members on both tiers, you should be able to see the exclusive content that I post over there. And I look forward to seeing and spending quality time with you guys. Uh, love you. Bye. Taurus.